Hi, in this video we're going to look at Cobb Vanth from The Mandalorian. We've just looked at the Black Series Boba Fett from Tython figure, which I got from Star Action Figures. Same with this, they've got them at reduced prices, so I thought I'd pick both of these up. So yeah, I mean the Boba Fett's a great figure. So let's have a look at the packaging. Star Wars The Mandalorian Cobb Vanth. Great character in the show, second season. Looks brilliant. Cobb Vanth, the Marshal of Moss Pelgo. And let's get him out of the packaging. So go to Star Action Figures, they should have these still at a reduced price. Packaging. Back the camera a little bit. It's a figure from behind. He's another deluxe figure, I believe. Mainly because of the amount of paint taps, I'd suspect. Two weapons, backpack, helmet. Pretty good. Figure looks cool. Let's start with the figure. Get the leaflet as well. <laughs> Doesn't want to come out. I wonder if that's the same helmet as the, it looks the same as the, there's Cobb out. Cool, stiff. He's sort of a cross between a cowboy sheriff and, uh, you know, He's rocking the Mandalorian armor. It's great. Let's lower the camera a little bit. A very colorful character. Cool dude, man. So the head's got much better movement than the Boba Fett. Back and forth. Side to side. So good movement there, good ab crunch. Yep. Shoulders. So his armor's different to the other. The... So you've got butterfly joints. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think so, no. This arm goes out that far. Same. Got to be careful. Oh, he's got the blooming cables as well. Got to be careful of those. This hand up and down. Nice sculpting detail on the figure. Nice texturing on the red shirt. Let's see what it is. Again, 90. Got the gauntlet as well. Pretty good. Lots of damage to the armor, scuffing and stuff, paint wear. None on the back though. Legs go that far out. Upper thigh cut. Both sides. Lots of sculpting detail in the trousers. 
legs that go that far back on both sides. Rocker ankles. No upper thigh cut there. I mean above the boot, but on the leg. So as much articulation as you need on this figure. Certainly looks more lanky than um, Robert Fett does. Very cool though. Very cool figure. Try with the helmet. Yeah, nice. Let's get the other stuff out. So you get a long rifle. Which is very nicely sculpted. Got some beige for the wrappings around it. It's got a almost slightly metallic sheen to it. Very cool. We've got a pistol. We've got a backpack. With a movable missile. Same as the Tython FET. And then you've got a little pistol as well. Pistol is very much like something they would use in the Wild West. Very nice. Again, these wires, you've got to be careful of those. Let's see it in his hand, that pistol. Holds that nicely. some gun drawing action pretty cool very nice figure Very colourful figure. I mean, you're mainly going to keep this gun in the holster though. Because you're going to have him with the rifle. So that fits in, should fit in nicely. Yeah, definitely goes in. Snug as a bug as a rug. All this sculpting detail on the legs is quite intricate. It's got one bit of armour there. Let's see how well the backpack fits on this figure. Make sure it plugs in at the top. It's pretty good. And then let's have him hold the rifle. Reminds me of the Rebel Rifle and the Hoff Trooper comes with. I'm sure you can get that little finger, trigger finger into that. There. Just push the gun in so it doesn't stress. Pretty good like that. 
this might you might be able to get this one into more of a two-handed pose because it's a much longer weapon let's see but I don't want to stress the wires feel them stressing there or maybe just have them in this thing. but I'm sure if you really wanted to get them into a two-handed pose you could it's just whether you're gonna risk it let's put the helmet on Pretty decent like that. And then put the backpack on again. So the big pack, backpack seems to be the biggest issue for both figures, apart from the wires and the elbow. But otherwise, he does look quite nice. All the tarnish on the armor, detailing on the sculpt. Brilliant, just a brilliant figure. Yeah, they've done a great job with this one. He looks great. Nice use of colors. Certainly looks cool. So that's Cobb Vanth. I'll just show him quickly with the Boba Fett and then I'll probably do a separate video comparison of the two. So that's the Boba Fett, Cobb Vanth and here's the Book of Boba Fett, Titan. So they just look amazing together. You can see how similar and different they look. The same armor, different wearer. Okay, so I hope you like looking at those. Both these figures, you can get a Starchin figure on sale at the moment. Highly recommend both if you like cool looking action figures, they look great. Um, let me just check his, I'm sure it does. Yeah, that goes forward as well. Okay, so I hope you like looking at those two. Cheers, goodbye.